All right, so we checked out Toy Fighter, uh, a 1v1 fighting game on the Naomi, or Naomi, I'm not actually sure how you say it, uh, Sega Arcade Board. Uh, I think it's from 2001, something like that. That feels about right. Um, I, we're playing it because it's a weird one that I think most people hadn't played. Uh, I've, I've always heard it's approachable. It looks shiny, uh, and the Dreamcast had an anniversary recently so i guess that was in the air really we wanted to play fighter destiny 2 but we could not get n64 online working but um yeah i thought i felt like why not play toy fighter with some friends um i'm gonna go around the, the horn here around the boat or whatever uh do you guys know about toy fighter before we played it tonight and if so what did you know I had never heard of this game before, and I thought that it would be a jankier, clownier thing than it ended up being, like from the look of it. But I had no clue going. Never heard of it. I've heard of it, but I, I heard it was just like an unreleased game. Yeah, I'd have to look that yeah. up. I'm actually not sure if it was released or not. About you, Stove? Actually, a good question. Now I'm just thinking about that. <laughs> but. uh yeah, it's good. Um, I mean, it, it's one of those ones where, like, it's deceptive. You want to go in and just start mashing buttons, and you realize it actually takes some some thought and skill. It's it's fun. I, I hadn't really messed with it until y'all mentioned it a couple couple weeks ago, but it's 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 a pretty good game actually. I like it. Yeah. Uh, so I think um, you know, it being a fighting game, it could be pretty by the numbers, but it seems to be trying to do something a little bit simpler here, a little bit more, I guess, reductive, or, like, uh, back to the basics. Uh, very, like, rock, paper, scissors oriented. Kind of reminds me of Sonic the Fighters, in a way, but it plays yeah. a lot better than that. Um, where you've got, like, your regular punch and kick, and those kind of interact like they, they normally would in a Virtua Fighter or a Fighter's Mega Mix, but then there's, like, this weird dodge thing, and then uh, breakers, and a ring thing and a whole scoring system that like changes it up in a way that I really am not used to seeing in fighting games. Yeah, the like where, where you can just kind of like hold the the dodge parry button and then just kind of react to it is is kind of neat. And I don't really know of any other games that have done that, where you can just kind of just flow with whatever's coming at you and then respond. It's 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 neat. It doesn't require like a weird parry button press. You're just kind of like waiting for someone to wail on you and then respond. I think that the Kung, the Kung Fu game we played had a similar dodge, like, built-in auto-dodge. Uh, and I like that because it it looks really cool, but you don't have to do anything. <laughs> yeah, it is very stylish how they dodge, and, um, like, it, it's automatic. When I first played it, I, I knew there was a dodge button. I was trying to mash it in time, but, yeah, like, yeah. so I was saying, you don't have to. You could just hold it, and they look like that uh, they look they make you look like you're really good at the game I feel like you're doing high level dodging high and low that it doesn't really yeah. care about the space of it it's very sick you could also there's like follow-up attacks you could get like dodge specific follow-ups yeah to, um, get like a, a TG kind of thing going on <laughs> Yeah, there was one that like I feel like a lot of characters had where they would dodge a low, they jump up in the air, and then they do like a big slam uh -huh. down attack, and those are super satisfying. It, it's... Yeah, a quick spinny kick. I saw a couple of quick spinny kicks out of that. It's kind of it's interesting. There were a lot of like modern games that kind of try to do that. Like you're holding down this this flow button or whatever to kind of dodge attacks. I I, I, I might be wrong, but I feel like Red Dead Redemption Two had something similar to that. But this game came out, you know, it was specific to a fighting game. It came out way before that. But it's a really, it's kind of technically impressive. I don't know. I, th I thought that was that was really cool. And it also wasn't like, it didn't feel like you could really abuse it because the other person could abuse you if you just kept holding down that button. Yeah, like you're, you were vulnerable to throws, like from dodging. Yeah. I don't think you could break them yeah. easily while you're in the dodge state. I like how this game kind of puts emphasis on different aspects of fighting games like with the throws for instance are like kind of what you're going for because they're so damaging and they basically end the, the round i guess so to speak 
Yeah, <laughs> they get you two points instead of just like a life win, which gets you one. So it really yeah. feels like you want to nail throw. But then there's like this easy break system when uh, if somebody hits the A and B buttons when you hit throw, they can break out of it. You can just like kind of keep doing it if everybody's timed just right. Um, and then it could either pay off and like somebody gets a big throw or you just kind of break it and, and go off in your separate directions and then have to reset and figure out different attack approaches. The little yeah. throw minigame is really good. It's it took a minute to realize that if you hit the small red bar, it seems like it would be distracting having a bar pop up on the bottom, but it actually became a really cool little mini game. It makes it seem like there's it's not random because <laughs> Backyard Wrestling had that similar thing, oh, but man. good lord, man. Which is kind of weird when you, you think about it, but yeah. I didn't even notice that there was a bar, to be honest. I, I didn't either. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the ring jumping stuff too. Like, re like I feel like you could make wrestling. Ga oh, man, I don't think about it too. Wrestling games should take from that. Like the fact that you could just jump up on the actual hula hoop thing so easily and actually attack. Yeah. That's that's it's cool. I it think was... there's a lot of like things from this game that I wish, like lots of aspects of this game that I wish were in modern fighters. Yeah, there's, there's you know so many good ideas. <laughs> I agree. This one, this one is very surprising in a, in a good way. Yeah, I like that the specials are just the three buttons and they're all these big spectacles that are easy to avoid. But if you kind of chain things properly, you can pull one off. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, it seems to keep the... Satisfying. Definitely. Um, but yeah, it seems like you can set people up to uh, like have them roll and wake up into one of those and that's like how you'd want to do it um, but I, yeah approachability I think and like simple controls uh, seems like something they were trying to do and like really nailed uh, I didn't quite learn every like technical in and out of the game but I definitely felt like and feel like I know what I'm doing without having really read anything or watched a tutorial um, so I'm, I'm pretty impressed by that uh, let's let's talk about like just some of the more, I guess, uh, aesthetic aspects of the game. The the graphics, the character designs, the stages. What do you guys think of those? Dreamcast as fuck. I mean, bright colors, <laughs> very uh, distinct look, clear text. I mean, low res textures that span for miles, but everything runs great. I mean, it, it you know it's. It's what you get from that time where, where, you know, the hardware was capable and people knew what they were doing with it. I, I, in the aesthetic, it, it matched. I mean, it, it, I don't have any complaints with that. I think the game looked great with what it was going for and it ran great, so, yeah. I like how the uh, characters are all very distinctive and all very different. Um, I wish there was more characters, of course, because they would just be that much better, but... Um, yeah, I, I feel similarly, like every character looks like something and then they do kind of exactly what you think they would do, <laughs> which is good. That's what they should do. Yeah, the stages too are, are pretty cool, um, but it's kind of limiting, you know, in, in the game's design because you're kind of fighting in this weird ring sort of thing. Yeah, the rings are, the stages are mostly just dressing I guess they, they don't actually have much impact on the matches themselves so it's just like a different song and a different background um yeah I mostly like the stages the characters that I do like at first I think I looked at them and I was like they're pretty plain looking um but it's because and I think it's intentional like they're supposed to look like actual toys that you would find in an aisle uh, maybe even cheaply made and like not animated that well because like you're talking about plastic models uh, so that's that's kind of a cute thing they wove into the game and also probably kept the budget down <laughs> probably <laughs> conveniently um, yeah and otherwise the music and the sound effects the announcer very Sega uh, like Stove said Dreamcast is fuck uh, the announcer just super over enthusiastically just saying everything like oh wow you got a hit oh no with like weird intonations and kind of staccato speech uh, I, re I really like that. It gets me pumped up. Um, some of the sound effects are a little corny, but again, I think it goes with the toy theme. Um, I, I don't remember hearing anything that made me 
when I take my headphones off or anything like that is all basically candy uh, music. I'm curious, like, who all was was behind this? Like, who all kind of came to to make this? If they were doing like like you know ideas to see if they worked and where they went on to or or whatever, but. It definitely doesn't even remotely feel like an amateur game. I mean, there, there's clearly some some skill behind these systems, even if some of them didn't pan out. It, it feels like they were either testing it or something. But it's it's a it's a it's cool. I, I don't think I've played a, a fighting game that has some of the stuff that this game does. Yeah, this game, but with amiibos. They, this game was rebooted <laughs> and you get amiibos. Uh, I really, I was kind of impressed by the design of the characters and how they stuck the toy landing. Like, one character, Pete, he does a move where it literally looks like a kid is just spinning the toy around. Like, oh, he's doing his big attack. <laughs> For the, like, playfulness of it, that, that it's toys that a kid is playing with or something. Works well. Cool. Uh, what are some low points of this game? I mean, I think we've mostly praised it. Is there anything that like sticks out to you as something uh, that's maybe not so great? I know we want more characters, we want more stages, but given this is the first and only entry in a series, um, I guess it's not in the cards. For I me... Mean, sorry, go ahead. Oh, well, I was just going to say I think the controls are... A, if I would have to say any aspect is a low, I would say the controls, yeah, even though you could like understand them, they're not like what I would call intuitive. <laughs> yeah, there's some clunkiness to them and some like 3D fighter growing pains kind of going on. I would be curious to approach this game without playing a lot of fighting games or anything similar to like a Sega 3D fighting game because I, I felt like I was trying to do, make the game be what it wasn't. And I feel like, you know, um, if, if I didn't have previous experience with like Virtua Fighter and all that kind of stuff, uh, it might have been not as confusing in a way because like it kind of it kind of goes like half the way there, but it doesn't go all the way because it's its own thing. So I'd, it'd be interesting to see how someone would have approached this game when it came out who didn't really have much of a, you know, background in that. My first fighter. <laughs> It'd be good for for my first fighter. It but would, it's also and it's like not a put down too. Yeah, it's yeah. not a put down though. Like, there's a lot to oh. it. Uh, but it, I agree. Like the the hardest part of me playing it is like unlearning or relearning how to interact with the core mechanics of a 3D fighting game. Like, there's no step dodge. You can't down down dodge. Uh, but that's for, like this is from 1999. Like that wasn't really conventional for everything yet. Um, but the dodge button would have been the first button for me if I was mapping this myself and then be like, instead of guard, I would put the dodge button and the punch kick, kind of like Virtua Fighter, which might actually work against me because <laughs> I'd be going back to some old habits there. So yeah, I, I agree there. Um, and I think the rolls, uh, some of the movement I wish was a little bit better or more defined, like being able to sidestep stuff a little bit more easily uh, and consistently. I, I, I jumped a lot when I meant to roll, um, which made these growing pains, but it could also be a flaw in the, col the controls. Yeah, Stove and I were sort of at other ends of a ring doing big blast specials on each other. So good. And then if we, the only reason we die is because you failed to do a side roll <laughs> because <laughs> yep. your input right, which is frustrating yeah. and feels like sort of make, it's one of the only like sort of truly clunky things that I felt while playing this game. Yeah. Do y'all think any of the characters are like OP? Or like the balance? Like, what do you think of the balance? I, I thought the balance, good. I think that's a good question. It, I, I I feel like you could figure out how to get through any of the fighters. Yeah, I mean, Pete did seem advantaged, uh, but I don't know. I found my way around him. Um, I think a lot of the characters have like moves that seem a little too good, but are avoidable, or there's some counterplay to them. Just takes a little experimentation to get it out. How it all plays out if you were to play this for a long time, I don't know. You know, that kind of stuff uh, shakes itself out in, in weird ways. But, uh, yeah, I think it was pretty balanced for the most part. Um, 
I, I d was definitely kind of no noticing some like, you know, different matchups that, you know, different characters that did better against other characters and stuff. Oh yeah. Like counter pick kind of thing. Yeah, I could definitely see that. The fact that we're sitting here talking about like actual, you know, it, implementation details of this game shows that it's actually pretty damn good. It's kind of oh. funny. Like we're sitting here, you know, it should on the surface be some stupid thing, but it's actually pretty competent and good. Yeah, it doesn't look like it should be. <laughs> yeah, on surface, it looks like kind of a joke game from the past, but it is totally competent. Absolutely. Yeah. That flow, that that like hold down the button, the flow mechanic type thing when you're doing the parry thing and then you can respond whenever some key animation frame comes in is just is cool as shit. And I wish more fighting games did that. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think PS2 Dragon Ball Z fighting games had that. Yeah, yeah. it's it's yeah. something I've seen. I can't I can't like call up exact uh, references to it, but yeah, I've, I've definitely seen it. I think Budokai has it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. I think Budokai yeah. might have it. Um, but yeah, all right, let's go to verdicts. Um, we'll go Momo, Neo, Sense, Pants Problems. Cool, yeah. I would totally recommend this to people, especially if they like fighting games and like weird Sega shit. This is like perfect for that. It's, you know, the controls are pretty easy, It's uh, but it has a lot of depth to it. I would totally recommend this game. Yeah, this game's a recommend for, for me as well. It It's a lot of fun, and I think just about anybody could pick it up. Three buttons and a stick, and, and you're moving. Yeah. Yeah, um, I recommend, honestly. I mean, it's you could you could throw this on in like a, a party setting, and people could mash away and just laugh about certain aspects of it, but it's pretty deep. It's got a lot, a lot going with it. Um, I don't know. It's good. Definitely recommend. Likewise, yeah. Um, I would try to get your friends on Noldy C to play it, uh, or Noldy C Bear. Um, I don't think most people would come up to it to approach it, but if you put it on and people watched it, uh, I think they'd see what was going on and want to play. Um, and it delivers. I mean, it's, it's a good time. Uh, there's probably a lot of depth to it if you want to keep playing it. Um, and I've seen some Japanese wikis translated of like all the move lists and there's definitely a lot to it uh, but I haven't learned it so um, I would recommend trying it out for sure toy fighter on Naomi uh, a recommend from all four selectors today go check it out unanimous recommendation yeah yeah this this is a this is a pleasant one Thank God we didn't get to play Fighter's Destiny. Come on. No. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Fighter's Destiny 2, I think, looks good, too. Uh-huh. Probably not this good. So doesn't believe you. <laughs> <laughs>